So we've been multiplying things like uh, x plus 3 times x plus 2. And I've been asking you to use the algebra tiles to do it. So you'll line up like an x along one side and then three ones like this and an x along the other side, no, like one x. So notice I have an x and three ones here. I have an x, oops, sorry, and two ones here. And then uh, what we're doing to solve it is we're filling in kind of the lines in the middle. Right, we're just extending those lines from the edges and we're getting something like this. Now here's what I want you to notice is the thing that's here is just x times x, x squared. Altogether in here it's 3 times x, so there's 3 x's in here. Altogether in here it's 2 times x, so there's 2 x's in here. And this bottom right corner is 6, you know, 3 2's. So to do this multiplication, we actually don't need to draw them all out. Why don't we just say x plus 3 times x plus 2, and then multiply that way. x times x is x squared. 3 times x is 3x. x times 2 is 2x. 2 times 3 is 6. So we have x squared plus 5x plus 6. This is called a generic rectangle and it's called generic because it's not specific like this is specific it shows you every little piece generic is just generic we're just going to use the numbers so what i want us to do is to start shifting away from this real concrete model to this generic model so let's do another one let's say i had something like 2x plus 5 times uh, x minus 7. now notice that's a lot of pieces i would have to have seven negatives uh, i'd have to have five ones, I'd have to have two x's. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna line it up like this. I'm just gonna draw my generic rectangle and then take one of my sides, two x plus five. So two x plus five. Take my other side here, x minus seven, x and a negative seven. And then I'll just multiply the pieces. So two x times x is two x squared. And then if I get here, five times x is five x. If I get here, 2x times negative 7, negative 7 times 2 is negative 14x, and then here 5 times negative 7 is negative 35. And so notice my answer would be 2x squared, and if I have negative 14x plus 5, I have 14 negatives but 5 positives, so those 5 positives will, will uh, cancel out 5 of those negatives leaving me negative 9x minus 35. So that's how generic rectangles work. Uh, what's nice about them, like let's say I had something like 10x plus 15 times 20x plus 10. Trying to do that out in the specific way and this way over here would just be brutal. Like 10x's, 15 ones, lining all those out. Horrible. So I'm just going to 10x, 15. Notice I took this side and put it here. 20x plus 10, 20x and 10. And now I'll just multiply. So 10x times 20x. The x times x is going to give me an x squared. 10 times 20 is 200. So I would have to have 200 uh, x squareds in there. 15 times 20x, 15 times 20, I could use a calculator, I could just know it, 300x. Uh, no, that seems... Like, I don't know it. Maybe I'll use a calculator. 15 times 20. Oh, I was right. 300x. Uh, and then this bottom left part here, 10x times 10, that would be 100x. And then here, 10 times 15, 150. And then I could say, oh, that would be the same as 200x squared. Those will combine. Plus 400x. Plus 150. So give the, uh, give the sheet a try. Let me know what questions you have. And uh, one thing to remember is whatever's here would be this times this, right? They line up like that. So whatever's here is whatever is here times whatever's there. All right, uh, message me if you have any questions.